Hello and welcome to our next uh, little episode. So today we're going to be uh, programming with uh, the micro bit again. Um, and we're also going to be doing some creating with uh, some LEDs. So I have a couple LEDs here, and so that's why I've got the split camera. Um, we're going to do a little more making with the LEDs and uh, the micro bit. Um, so I thought I would um, show you that uh, here. And so we're going to go ahead and, and create a project. And then we're going to jump over to uh, creating some stuff with our hardware. So this one, we're just going to do uh, a basic LED, um, you know, on off. Uh, let's just call this simple. So there we go. And when that is going ahead, so a little bit about LED. So LED stands for a light emitting diode. And so here I've got two examples. Um, one's a little bit bigger than the other. So I think this one is, I think it's a 10 millimeter um, one. And I think this one's about five. So this will be nice and bright um, for us to use. And uh, this one won't be as bright, but that's okay. Um, the whole idea is for us to be, be creating with this. And so, I can go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of these two on start and on and uh, forever because what we're going to do is this very simple one is we're going to have uh, when we press button A we're going to turn on the LED and when we press button B we're going to turn off the LED. Now, I don't have the, the simulator set up here just because, uh, well, I have a little bit less real estate, but also, uh, well, you can see the simulator down here, but also I'm going to do a lot more downloading of the uh, program to the micro bit and, and see it on there. So again, I'm going to go into my input on button A press. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, but that idea is, yeah, so we've got our um, button A pressed, and we're going to turn the um, pins on, or we're going to turn the, the LED, which is attached, this LED here, uh, which is attached, we're going to turn that on uh, using our uh, options there. And so I can go down to um, the pins here. And we're going to use, now there's a few things that we can do here. We can use the digital uh, or we can use analog. And so the difference between digital and analog, digital is, um, um, I'm going to bring out the digital here. And so the digital is essentially a zero or one. That's it um, in terms of the, the amount that it is. So it's either... Um, fully on or fully off. So just like a light switch that you would experience when you walk into a room, it's only fully on or fully off. Whereas analog is similar to like a dimmer when you walk into a room and you want it sort of half on uh, or half off or not its full capacity in terms of that. And so the neat thing is we can sort of, I'll, I can use both of them here in the code that I'm I'm exploring, because one we're saying so pin A, uh, sorry button A is pressed, um, digital right pin so pin zero, uh, we're going to tell it to go on, and so we can drag it over here, and you can see that it only goes from zero to one, or I can also just write the number one in here, and button B pressed. This is where we're going to turn it off. And so I can click on here and I can sort of scale this down to zero. Or if I know that I want it to be half as bright or a quarter bright, I can just fill in the numbers there. So this is essentially the code that I want for this particular project. So what I can do is I can go ahead and send this down. I think I've already paired it. Uh, disconnect, so that means it is paired. So we should be able to see it blinking over here. And 
And then, so while we're waiting for that to come down, what I can do is I can I can start to plug in my um, my wires here. And so I have my LED. So to connect my LED to my micro bit, I have a few LE uh, few wires here. And so I actually have um, this is sort of a a, a great um, type of wire to have. And so it's got an alligator clip on one side and these DuPont wires on the other. And I, I just haven't uh, removed them uh, from each other. But uh, just because I, you know, I don't want them to get lost. Um, but what this does is it allows me to plug in my LED right into the DuPont here. And so I can see that they're, it's nice and connected and I don't have to worry about um, clipping in there. And so I'm just making, making some space in there. And then what I want to make sure that I do first is I want to see that I'm actually plugged in my LED properly first. So I'm just going to clip in. So I've got to connect one of these to ground. So I just use my alligator clip and on this new version two, you'll see that there's a little bit of a, a lip right here. And so that allows for it, uh, the alligator clips to nicely grip or crocodile clips to nicely grip. And then if I just take this other crocodile clip and attach it to three volts. So this three volts, it's constantly sending a signal of three volts. So I, again, I don't have to worry about my code for right now. Um, I'm sending a signal of three volts. Now, my LED is not turned on. So one of the things that we know about an LED is that the electricity only passes through it in one certain direction. And so here, if I plug it in, I thought I saw it turn on. Now I happen to have another one right here, so let's uh, let's see if did I break? There we go. You can sort of see it lit up. There you go. And so we have we have a connection. That's great. So if I take this and I unplug it, we see it turns off. So I'm going to plug this now into pin zero to see this. Lit. So now we have our connection. So if I press A, I should see it light up. If I see press B, I should see it turn off. Great. A for on, B for off. Awesome. All right. So I now have that on there and uh, that is ready to go. Now, if I wanted to connect another LED in here, so I can connect my, um, just got to grab another one. I think that yellow one might be messed up. So I've got a green one here and I can do the same sort of thing. And so I'm just going to connect my, the two pins in here and you'll see that there are uh, there's a longer pin and a and a shorter pin and so that tells you the direction of the electricity as it's going through or the electrons that they're traveling through here and uh, so yeah so I'm just going to connect this one onto here so they're both those are both grounded and So once I've connected that, we'll see that the green LED is not lit up. So I'm just going to rotate it around and we can now see the green is on. Whoops. <laughs> I just made it fall out. So the green is now on. Awesome. So now that I've got the red is on pin zero going on there, you can see that there's a little bit of a difference in the brightness as well on those. Um, that actually has to do with the different colors and the different voltage that's needed for, for them and the different current. Um, so, uh, but that's, uh, we can get more into that at a later date. Oh man. Sorry about that. Oh, I came out, went back in wrong. 
a little bit cumbersome sometimes. All right, so we're back in. We've got our two circuits. So now we're going to actually take our um, these this blue clip out of from three volts, and we're going to put it into P1. And so what I want to do now is I want to I'm going to go back to my code, and I'm actually going to make a new project. So a little bit similar to this one, but we're going to make the a new project that will allow me to turn um, press A, and it will turn. Actually, let's just keep this one here. So, unless it's, oh, no, it has uh, has gone ahead. So what we're going to do is, actually, I'm going to um, I'm going to do a little bit of a trick here. So I've already got the code that I want for the LED simple um, pretty well what I'm, what I'm going to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I went to um, view all projects and um, all of my projects are here. And there's a drop down menu that will uh, not drop down. Sorry, it's this one right here. It will actually duplicate my code. And so what that allows me to do is it if I already have a project that I've created, but I don't want to erase it, I can duplicate the code. And now I'm able to go in there and I've kept my LED simple. And now I've got an LED complex code. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this one. So clicking that will allow me to go in there. And I'm going to use button A to turn on the uh, red one and button A to turn off the green one. And then button B will do the opposite. So they'll sort of be blinking based on the uh, button that I'm going to be pressing. So we already know that um, digital right pin is uh, one is on. And so what I can do is I can just uh, right click or and duplicate this one. And so I'm going to send a signal to pin one as zero. And then I'm going to do the same sort of thing here where I'm going to, this one is one, and I'm going to bring this one all the way up to the top here. So 1023. So let's go ahead and down that, download that one. So they're both going to start off because no buttons have been pressed. Now if I hold them nicely, don't get my wires crossed, don't hold anything out, don't pull anything out. Oh, it could sort of Leave it in the shadow there. That might help. This takes a little while to download. There we are. Okay. So if I press A, you see my red is on and green is off. If I press B, now the red is off and green is on. So I can go back and forth. And if I had soundtrack, wee all right, so there it is. So cool little project, little maker project that you can do. Um, I really like this because it has some great opportunities for um, for getting physical uh, or a little more physical with our micro bit, not just the onboard opportunities, um, but we start to explore with alligator clips, clips and circuits, and uh, yeah, it's really can get really exciting for. Um, for young people to to get creating so uh thanks very much for watching and uh we're ex i'm excited to see what uh, what you and your students come up with in terms of building and creating and with that uh, bye for now and happy coding
happy making.